afternoon y'all it's like 15 minutes to 12 might as well say good afternoon sorry i did not come this morning it has been hectic i am so glad i took off tomorrow some told me take off friday too Yo, just, just take off the next friday too and i'm glad that i did um i have enough time to take off every friday if i feel like it um but anyway i did take off tomorrow because i'm just i'm done i can't do no more day i can't give no more i can't be no more so i'm not <laughs> that part remember we're talking about boundaries and you know taking time off and taking time for ourselves when needed and work is going to be there work is going to be there problems are going to be there all that shit still going to be there whether i'm there or not they could fire me tomorrow and they'll figure out somebody else to do it so with that being said i shall take pto time yes i shall okay that part but anyway it's almost 12. i'm about to go in here and eat this leftover spaghetti for lunch I thought this morning that I literally would get up and make me a chai because you guys know for the month of January, I was only drinking water. I wasn't doing a dry January. I was only drinking water. So that means no wine, no juice, no milk, no latte, like just drinking. I could have like my almond oat milk if I'm eating like cereal, but like just anything besides water has been water. Why this morning I got up and I was like, oh, I'm going to make me a latte. Why well, I still drink water? I still drink water. Like... And I noticed that drinking more water has kept my sweet tooth down. Like, I don't crave sweets as much um, or anything. So, that's really a good thing. But I need to go. I was going to sit down again and look at these stupid little things. Um, but it's just like I told them, but it was going to do. Nobody ever listened to me. And this is why I can't never get nothing done. Because I can't stay away from the thing and I need to get away. thought of another question so let's see what she comes back with i don't know if it is an, an actual thing that they can do maybe we could try every different kind of link type that there is to see if we can get this to work sometimes you just have to play around with stuff and just you know tweak it and do all kind of stuff to see if you can try everything that the system has available to see if something will work and i think that's what we're at right now because there's literally nothing that i can do about it i have to get them to fill everything in and out for me to see if we can get this stuff to work or not but maybe there is maybe there's just something we haven't tried or thought of or even explored and that's the one thing about working in tech that i've learned i'm definitely a problem solver and i definitely love to tinker with stuff so it kind of makes me excited to tinker with something and see if maybe we can figure out how to fix the issue because the one thing that they did i knew it wasn't going to work but of course we have to prove that it doesn't work um but you know once they get proof they be like okay never mind and then we'll move on to the next thing which is fine but you know they have to be shown so it's no big deal to me but i'm about to warm up my spaghetti and i'm probably gonna get i need to go by the bank so when my other meeting's over at 2 o'clock, it's going to be my lunch break. Because I need to go to the bank and pick up my cash envelope money. The month has started over. And I got some stuff to do tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be recording my monthly reset and some other things. So tonight is really going to be like a cleanup day. I need to clean up my room. It's absolutely atrocious. Y'all will talk about me so bad. It's really just a bunch of, a bunch of clothes. I told you guys I need to organize and declutter my closet i never did that in january it was just too hectic so i didn't and it really wasn't a big deal but i do want to get it for february so i'm going to try and um see if i can get that done for the month of february and de dedicate time to actually trying on everything and looking at everything and deciding if i want to keep it or not so let me get back to um doing work and i will let you guys know what we come out with later okay all right guys today is very uneventful unfortunately yes y'all already can tell so i apologize oh sorry i was being nosy i saw something down there that's bright green i was like what that is um and it is what it is like i just got out of my last meeting i need to run to the bank right quick i know i said i was not gonna leave this house looking a hot ass mess in 2024 but let me explain something to y'all. This is what my room looks like, okay? I couldn't find no cute clothes if I wanted to. That's my fault, but I ain't too busted, but I'm busted, okay? They go, you're going to get what you get. As a matter of fact, I ain't even got to get out the car, okay? I only have to get out the car. When I get back, I need to uh, decondition my hair and get that together. And then I need to work on 
getting these clothes tried on, deciding what I'm going to keep, what I'm not going to keep, organizing. Like I said, this is a big pile of stuff that I just took out. I have a clothing rack. does not include my shoes or all the stuff that's hanging in my actual closet. I don't look too busted. My hair is just a mess. I just had not washed my hair yet, but I literally have on just this a gray t-shirt with my gray pants from Fashion Nova. So it's not bad. I mean, I throw on my New Balances and put on my little gray and black uh, jacket. And I actually will look put together. The only thing that ain't going to look good is my hair. Like, even my nails done. <laughs> no, my nails will never be done. Let me tell you something. These look, these little gel nails come in clutch. Um, and so, yeah. So maybe we don't look too busted, okay? Maybe not too busted. Maybe like 90, we only about five percent busted because of my hair but other than that everything else is together my face is washed teeth brushed look decent i'm gonna tuck this in put on my new balances throw on that jacket and then we'll be actually looking pretty decent so maybe i should take that back maybe i'm not looking as busted and it is gonna be an elevated casual okay that part anyway y'all don't care do y'all care do y'all really care y'all probably don't anyway let me get my little life and we might just throw on a hat and that might help elevate it a little bit more because then you can't see my how my hair is looking. What do I do with my hats? I literally just had them. Um, so, you know, we have our little gray and white checkered hat. So, I can literally put that on and throw on some earrings. And I might not look as tough, okay? Let's tuck in this shirt. Right quick, just going to get that together. Okay, tuck in the shirt. All right, let's fix this hair because it won't go into it with this ponytail. Let me fix this ponytail a little bit. Um, but yeah, I do have a lot of like cleaning up to do and deciding on what I'm going to keep or not going to keep. It's probably not going to be that lot, um, lot that I'm going to get rid of. It ain't going to be too much. But it will be some stuff. Let's put our hat on. Boom. Hat is on. Maybe brush out this ponytail. Throw on some little hoops right quick. Put on my little hoops. These ones right here. Or whatnot. See, I'm looking a little better already. Just a tad, just a tad, okay? So, we already got on our jewelry. Fix our shirt some. And then we're going to throw on our jacket here. Throw on our little jacket here. Okay, okay. All right, don't look too crusty now. So that looks a lot better already, right? And then we might throw on some shades just so it helps us not look as busted. Does that help us? I think it does help us a little, a little bit more. So it gives us a little, uh. And then we're just gonna throw on some socks right quick. Some of my no-show socks. And we're gonna put on these new balances, baby. The gray on gray on gray on gray on gray. <laughs> Loving it. Um, we're not spending any extra money this month, so I shall not be buying anything while I'm out. I did eat breakfast, so I had that spaghetti for lunch, but it didn't really fill me up. So I might have the rest of it when I get back if my son didn't eat it all up. Those kids go to work tonight, so there's no reason for me to cook anything at all we're not gonna go to Publix and get no one person meal because that's all I did last month was buy the one person meals and we're not doing that it's not worth that's not what we're doing this year okay we're not gonna do it all right got my shoes on got my life together we're looking a little bit more put together right what do you guys think what do you guys think? Am I looking a little bit more put together? Is that better? I can't see none of these shades on. Is that better? I know my ponytail is looking busted, but I think now, you know, we're looking like we made an effort, right? Throwing the shades, we made an effort. We get an A for effort, buddy. 
<laughs> so let's go pick up this cash envelope money and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, it's a really pretty day. It's 63 degrees. It feels good out here. Um, the little guy at the bank said he liked my little cash breakdown thing. I was like, well, since y'all got rid of the uh, deposit slips, I need to keep this one in here because this is literally going to be probably the amount of money I'll get every time for cash envelope. So instead of rewriting it every time and trying to remember what it is that I posted, hey, God, I'm just going to leave this one in here. And then I can just pull it out every time I want to go get my cash envelope money. And if I need to edit it, I will. Um, maybe write it down on this little thing. I have like pens in here and hand san a spray sanitized tied to go wipes, uh, a notebook. I got a lot of little stuff in here. In this one, I have like feminine products, hair ties. Um, cleansing wipes, some tampons, just stuff you need that you might leave the house without. I think in this one I got some flossers, some of them Buffalo Wild Wing wiping pads. I got some body wash in here, some lotion, some deodorant. I need to get a new lotion. This one's almost gone. Um, Band-Aids. You know, you just never know. I got that idea from Alicia because she was like, girl, you ain't got nothing in this car. So I had to, I had to up my game. She was like, girl, get it together. So I did. <laughs> I got it together y'all but anyway um uh, we're waiting on Jalen here at this bus stop she gotta go to work tonight so um that's what's going on there I have to edit start editing the vlog for tomorrow I'm off tomorrow but I might not edit in tomorrow but I want to at least get half of it edited today so I don't have to spend all day tomorrow editing like I said tomorrow I'm off so I would like to spend the time either finish decluttering my closet or chilling out watching a movie I really just want to do something mindless something I don't have to think about and where I can just relax um, and for me that's reading or um, watching a movie or whatnot I really don't want to go anywhere and spend any money I hope I'm in focus y'all I feel like I'm out of focus um, I really don't want to spend any money or anything so We'll just have to figure out what that is. I do think tomorrow I do need to go to the grocery store. I think I need to go to the grocery store. Or either I can cook the lot. I really like to cook everything in my deep freezer before I go to the grocery store and get like meat and stuff. I have so much meat in my deep freezer. But I do need to get stuff like eggs. We still have sausage in there. I don't have any bread. Uh, I want some salad stuff. So I might just go get a few of our staple items that we have all the time that we're missing. I might run out and do that in the morning I hate that Aldi doesn't open until 9 o'clock because like some places open at 7 so that means if I drop Jayden off the bus stop at 6 30 I can go straight to the grocery store but I'll probably go after my therapy appointment if not later on in the afternoon we'll see here comes Jalen Rose now um so I will check in with you guys in a little bit guys so it's 6 4 I ate my spaghetti and then I started um clearing out my closet so let me just show you guys where I am these two items I'm not gonna wear but I'm gonna see if Jalen wants them if she doesn't want them these are the only two items in my closet I think she would be interested in everything else would be a no um, so I'm gonna see if she wants these two um, everything down here is being donated I will not wear it I haven't worn it and I've literally just been holding on to it um, this stuff needs to be hung up. This stuff I need to try on to determine if I want to wear it or not. And then I have some stuff here that I still really, really love, but I don't wear. So I'm going to see, I'm going to make it my mission to have them on the clothing rack. And I have to wear the stuff on the clothing rack. And if I come out, find it hard to wear, or I just don't want to wear it, or I'm like, oh, I don't like it, then I will get rid of it. Um... And then mind you, I do have a lot of clothes on the clothing rack right now. Um, I do have some clothes that need to be washed. But here is like my shirt area. I still have to like clean up some stuff and put them in the right category. Like these cardigans don't belong here. They belong over there. My sweatshirt is going to be here. So this is what's left in this area for the stuff that's not hung up. And then this is weeding out my blazers but of course they're not all in here or organized at the moment um and i do need to organize my closet a little bit better so i'm gonna work on that um i got rid of most of my pants um i told you guys i went and got pants from uniqlo 
um, I noticed that my Target pants are not holding up, not the dress pants. So I'm really into the dress pants era. As you guys know, dress pants, casual dress pants, work dress pants, everyday wear. So I really need to start investing in the better pants that will not wear out in my Target ones. Like I wore them so much they wore out. Um, and my Target ones were my more wide leg ones. So and you know the ones I get from Uniqlo are straight legs. So I need to be on the hunt for some nice wide leg dress pants that are good quality. Um, I don't think I've seen wide leg on Uniqlo, but I'll have to look it up and see. Um, what else? I just got rid of anything that was too little that I couldn't wear in the way that I wanted to. Um, or whatever the case may be. Or I just wasn't into anymore. Like I'm debating this one right here. I don't really wear it enough. Or don't know many ways that I can wear this. I thought it was great when I bought it. But in hindsight, maybe not. Um... So that's why I'm being a little bit more intentional. That's why I'm doing a low buy year because I really need to be intentional in what I'm going to wear. And number one, make sure it fits well and make sure that even though it fits well, what can I wear under it? I like to wear sweatshirts. I like to wear um, matching sets and I like to throw blazers on them. And if I can't throw a blazer under one of my like thicker shirts, then it's no use for me to have it in the wintertime because that's how I dress. So that don't make no sense, right? That part. So that's kind of where I am with that. Um, with some of these, not all, but some of these. Um, so yeah, but that's what I'm doing, um, while I'm watching a movie. And then once we get everything decided, what we're going to keep, of course, we're going to organize it back to color code it, coordinate it, or whatever the hell I want to do, child. Um, my coats are pretty much all the coats that I have. So I definitely don't need any more coats. I have a gray one, I have a black one, a dark brown one, dark camel, light camel one. Then I have a denim here. I have a trench. I really think I'm going to get rid of my tr cropped trench coat. It doesn't fit like I would like it to fit. And I keep trying to keep it, but I'm not going to keep it. It was a good idea, a good DIY. But I actually just ordered that trench coat from the drop. That I can't remember the girl's name. Alicia kind of showed it to me. Y'all probably know who she is. She all over, the, over Instagram. I will try and like post her. And the picture of or a picture of the trench coat of course it won't be here until may or march so it'll be good for spring what i like about it is convertible so you literally can unsnap the sleeves you can unsnap the bottom half of it i'm really not sure if i'm going to be loving the snaps i wish it was more hidden like a zipper versus a snap but we're going to see how i like it if i don't like it i will return it um but i do want one that's versatile that will um what do you call it? Um, just convert so you can wear it so many different ways. So that's the only thing I ordered from her collection because she got a lot of color. Y'all know I don't do no color. But yeah, but that's what we got going on right now. Um, I'm looking to add a bookshelf right here that I have in the hallway that's been sitting there for a minute. I'm going to see if it's going to fit right here in this area because I'm looking for a way to either move my shoes from down here and maybe on the bookshelf make it a shoe shelf or maybe some of my sets that are bulky like that I don't want to put in the drawer but we'll see I'm gonna move it in here and see how I like it if I don't like it it's not gonna stay in there just that part um, and I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put it over here or either over there on that side I haven't decided that yet either so we got a lot of decisions <laughs> a lot of decision making on this Friday but that's what I'm doing right now I'll give you guys an update in a couple of hours because um, I really just need to hang everything up this all needs to be hung up right there, and that pile needs to be folded. And then that pile is workout clothes, and then this pile is to try on. Um, and then this pile down here below me is dirty clothes that I need to um, wash. So that's where we are. And I'm just looking to see if there's anything on this rack that I need to get rid of, but this is literally like the stuff I just bought, so we're not going to get rid of that. Uh, I have some stuff that I need to do for tomorrow um, to work on for a collab. So I need to do that tomorrow. So I need to make sure this is all in a place that I can find it in the morning. So I'm going to need to do a try on portion for the video. So I need to try all them on and kind of model them out for the video. So that's what we're going to do with that. And I need to get that done tonight and get my life together. So it's going to be a long night. Good thing I don't have to work tomorrow. Um, because now I can stay up as late as I need to to get this stuff done. Which to me is going to be, it's going to be a minute. <laughs> it's going to be a minute. <laughs> 
So I will check with you guys a little bit later. Ooh, that water good. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, we're going on 8:14, and this is where we are so far. All of these clothes that were there that I was getting rid of are gone. Still have dirty clothes there. This is what the bed is looking at. I've hung up most of the clothes. I still have to fold those, but I have to organize my drawers first. These are the hangers that are left, but I also have to wash, so they could be taken up soon. Um, the colon rack is pretty much diminished. Still got to get those things out of here. This is what it's looking like. I did put this shelf in here that was in my hallway. This was in, I can't remember what room this was in. I want to say it was in my closet in the office. But I'm thinking maybe shoes or folding stuff, maybe purses. I don't know. Um, I really want to get a new one because this one done had it. But the one at the one at Walmart and the one at Target are not as wide as this one. And so this one's pretty old. But I think if I get some plywood and replace the back, it'll be okay. And it's actually up against the wall, so it's really not, you know, bad as long as it's flush against the wall. And I might just paint it and keep it. I mean, because the bones are good. It just looked rough. <laughs> and I did a shitty job when I um, actually painted it last time. I think it was white or a brown color. I can't remember. But I did paint it or spray painted it. And I didn't really do a good job. I was just trying to get it to look decent. Um, but I might actually paint it or spray paint it again or something. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And so I do still have the shelves. So it'll be a shelf there. It'll be one, two, three, four, and then the bottom shelf. And then, of course, I can adjust the shelves as I want to. I think I don't think I painted these in. I could have because, you know, yeah, I think I painted them in. But I think I can, as long as I can use a plier or something, I should be able to, like, move them up or down if I want to. So I'm going to play around with that. And kind of see what I think. It doesn't take up any much more room. I can still reach the things here. My blazers or whatever. So it's not taking up a significant amount of room. But I can also I think slide it over just a little bit more. So it's as much toward the wall as possible. I don't. I want it to be against the wall though. So I don't want to. I still have a little strip right there. You see that strip? So it won't go all the way. But that's far enough as good as it's gonna get child i'm not really worried about it for real for real um so that's where we are so <laughs> i was just watching the matrix while i was working the matrix number i don't know what number it was it was the one when neo died and then i think in the next one he come back to life child you know how them go anyway that's what we looking like that's what we working on i'm gonna like wipe it down right quick go find the little shells that go with it and i think they even different colors child it's gonna be looking a mess for a minute but you know we got to get this together. We got to get it together and make it easy because I find that I have, it's too hard for me to put away my purses. I don't have anywhere to put them. This shelf is not uh, wide enough and I really want to raise this shelf up some because it literally comes down a little too far for me to use my mirrors. So I really want to lift this up a little bit and just use it to, I don't know, house some stuff. Maybe my sets that, that are too bulky, I maybe I can house them up there, but we'll see. Um... And then I'll have somewhere to put my bigger purses like these that I'm actually using and rotating out versus putting them, you guys know, up there and um, behind the baskets and stuff. So that's my thought process on that. But I'm going to get back to work and I'm going to check in with you guys um, in a little bit. All right, you guys. So this is what the shelf is looking like now. So I just put my big bags up there. I put my two bags there, my little bags there. And then I have put my perfume here. I don't have anything on this shelf yet. I don't know what to do with that. And then I have these, my most worn tennis shoes down here. All of my tennis shoes, basically. Um, I only got rid of of uh, maybe one pair of shoes so far. Um, I pretty much wear all the rest of them. Um, so I think this looks really good, though. What do you guys think? Let me know. I think that's a good addition to the closet. Just to get stuff a little bit more organized. So now I am, like, cleaning out. My drawers, like wiping them down and stuff, has been a while. So I'm going to wipe them down and then I'm going to reorganize everything down here. These are my workout clothes. Um, workout bras. Just some um, joggers or whatnot. And then I'm just going to do all of my drawers. Just wipe them down and reorganize them. Um, so that's where we are today. Right now, still have dirty clothes right there that I'll probably 
work on washing tomorrow still have clothes and stuff and it's pretty late i think it's like 10 o'clock yes 10 17 i'm watching x-men while i do it so i'm basically sitting on the floor and um organizing my closet and getting my life together right about now so um i hope y'all are enjoying this content because i know it might be a little boring but that's all i got for y'all day like i ain't doing much it just is what it is. Um, yeah, my battery's about to die. So let me get a new battery right quick. I just saw my little battery chargers um, a minute ago. But let me get a new battery. And then maybe I'll do a little time lapse of me putting stuff away. Or whatnot. But I gotta find my batteries first. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna show you guys where I left off so this clearly is gonna be continued in the weekend vlog because this is a daily vlog so I apologize even though y'all tell me not to you have to remember people are new to my channel and they be like girl what is this you recording <laughs> my real life that's what I'm recording but um this is uh just where I'm gonna end the vlog like I said I was just cleaning up today working really really hard today was a super busy day but i wanted to get this done so i can work on some other things tomorrow that i need to work on so saw the shelf final look this is what it's looking like these are all the stuff that is um clean and not doesn't need to wash i haven't organized it yet though so don't worry about it being out of order or not color coordinated it won't be so everything is pretty much put back together or whatnot I was able to get those shoes from under the bench by using that bookshelf and this is what my room is looking like so all the dirty laundry is out of here um, I picked everything up got everything off the bed and put away um, the stuff on the rack is stuff I need to either hang up or try on I'm just too tired to do it now um, and I've just been watching movies while I'm doing it. So I'm about to actually lay down. So I hope y'all enjoyed something like enjoyed this daily vlog. If y'all didn't, I apologize. It'll be better next time. But that's all I got for y'all today. That's all I got for you. That's it. Real life, real life. <laughs> so I will see you guys in two days or the day after tomorrow. And we will continue this closet in this room getting together in the next vlog. So. Have a good night.